What is going on guys, DBG here and today we have the final, the final of the beast card. So I'm going to go over this card here and then we're going to probably make another video talking about the market and just overall what I think these promos will do to the market. But yeah, kind of crazy. We have gotten, we got, we got the card, well, well, I don't even know what I'm saying. We got the card everyone thought we were getting. Let's be real, we got the card that everybody, and I mean everybody, knew we were getting in Anthony Davis. I don't think there was a single person that is shocked that we have gotten Anthony Davis as a reward. I'm gonna be honest, I do not think there's a single person, not even sh that's shocked, not, that's even moderately surprised that we got Anthony Davis, not even as a reward, as a top card. Who the set reward is, I have no idea. I think the set reward is gonna be like, it's not going to be specifically Hondo, but it's going to be a, one of those like unknown cards and it's going to juice a six. This is Inferno. This is the Inferno set of this year. This is the Inferno set of this year. So, lads, you guys can see right here. Brow it down. Anthony Davis. So, we have Pelicans Davis. And, yeah, he's, um... Okay, at least he has his Pelicans hair. Thankfully, like, 2K are doing a actually making their cards look like they do on their card art now, which it's only taken them like five years to do it. I mean, they used to do it back in the day, like they did it up until like 2K17, and then they just stopped. And they just completely, completely stopped. Well, they may have even done until 19, but in 2021, they just didn't do it. The players look nothing like their card art, but either way, it seems to be a bit better now. But um, Anthony Davis at center. Because I think he might be the first, like, legit popper that's going to be used. So, like, if we look at Anthony Davis here, look at his pink diamond. So, his pink diamond right now is solid. Like, 6'10", 7'2", wingspan. He, the thing is, he's going to get a steal rating of at least, at least 85 with that opal. He's going to have a 3-ball rating of at least 89. His speed's going to go to at least 85. His ball handle is going to be 86. He's probably not getting half interceptor, but he's probably getting it on gold. Range, again, once he can get bronze range, it really doesn't matter. His rebounding is probably going to be pushing 90, because again, it's very low as is with no rebound chaser. So his rebound is going to be pushing 90. So. Like we're looking at, this card was really good for his time. I was not as high as most people were on this card. Like I was higher on Josh Smith when he came out. Um, but he did come out. Like, I'd say it was a pretty good card. And this game's hard. And I would love to see... Uh, I would see Duke I do that again on, like, when a new promo comes out. Give us, like, an, one extra card as, like, a, an agenda player for each promo. That would be cool if they do it like FIFA with their objectives. But I don't think that's going to happen again. But Anthony Davis, this one here only had six half badges. Like, we're going to be looking at an AD card with at least 15 offs. But the one interesting thing is that he, he will be better, but I mean, just like last time, we had a really damn good Serge Ibaka card, and like, for AD to be like, no, this will be better than Serge, and this is not going to be a knock on Anthony Davis, this is just me explaining how freaking good Serge Ibaka is, because like, all the interior badges, any of them got a half, it's the same difference, but AD will need to have... 86 plus ball handle. Um, he'll need to have like a better block. He'll need to have at least, at least 10 defensive badges. And um, a couple of half shooting badges. That's what AD will need to be, to be significantly better than Surge. AD will be better than Surge. I just want to put it out there. I'm not saying Surge will be better than Anthony Davis, but I'm saying it's going to be hard for AD to be significantly better than Serge Ibaka. Because Serge is a longer wingspan, a better release. AD will have hot zones all around the top as well, which will help him, more than likely. But like Serge has a better release, longer wingspan, a load of elite defensive badges. Um, the ones he doesn't have on half, he pretty much has on gold. Elite rebounding, an elite steal rating of 88, which AD may not have. Um, and he has range extender with unbelievable release. But, with AD's stats and animations, AD release is not quite as good as Surge, but it is pretty good. But if you look at AD's dribble six, this is where I think AD could show off 
and be that like that point center as well. So if they go and give Anthony Davis gold quick first step, an 85 speed acceleration, 85 speed ball, 86 ball handle. If you guys look at the dribble six he has, the guy's got the harden behind the back, which can be spammed pretty well down the floor. It really can be spammed pretty well. If you guys know what you're doing with the harden behind the back, it can actually be really, really effective. So I'm gonna go into rosters now. I'm just gonna go into the L shoot around and I'm gonna show you guys what I mean by this. So AD's currently injured, so all-time Pelicans. I wonder who's on the all-time Pelicans team. So like the New Orleans Hornets, even though they were originally Charlotte's Hornets, the way the history of that franchise works is really, really weird. The way the history of like the, <coughs> the Pelicans, Hornets, like, so technically Baron Davis. Sorry but that, despite never being traded or leaving his team, played for two different franchises. That's that's always a weird one. That's always, the way the history works between these two franchises is always weird. But if you look at AD, obviously he's got a slash people stop, but this behind the back, like if he, for example, gets like gold range and he gets like good speed, well, he's not gonna burst too well. Like you can, especially going downhill, if he gets like gold or half downhill, pull off that behind the back into some nice three point shots. So like some of the stuff that Anthony Davis can do, like he will be better than Serge. I think it's just because of the movement wise, especially when he, with the ball in his hand, like he's gonna be able to dribble. So that's what's gonna separate an AD from a Serge. But I mean, he's gonna need to be pretty juiced to be significantly better than a Serge Ibaka. But yeah, I think AD is gonna be really good. I think he might be the best center in the game. Look, I think there's, <laughs> there's like a 50% chance he's the best center in the game. Because this release is so chicken. The only problem with AD is he's just a tiny bit small in today's game at six foot ten. But if he gets half interceptor, he might forget it. He probably still is up there, maybe the best center in the game. If he gets a like half interceptor and half ball stripper. But I'm just putting it out there right now. If he gets half interceptor, and like say his strength is weak and he doesn't get ball stripper, and that kind of means that he's not gonna be the greatest center in the game. If he just gets half interceptor, he becomes the best power forward in the game. He becomes the best power forward in the game, the best player to run there. He becomes pretty much better Giannis because he gets very, very similar defensive animations to someone like Giannis. But unlike Giannis, he's going to have a really high three-point rating. And to be fair, both of them have really good releases. So yeah, he's going to be really good. I don't think we're going to see AD in every single 250 squad like last year, but I think his card is going to be very, very similar. So if we look at Anthony Davis from last year, like AD came out the second week. Oh, the exact same as this year. He came out the second week of um, season four. So, um, oh my God, I'm struggling, struggling to speak right now. He came out the second week of season four, the week before Inferno, and he had 87 speed, 89 three-pointer, 85 lateral, 80 steel, 89 block. The guy had 21 halves. He's not gonna have 21 halves this year, by the way. Probably gonna have somewhere in the 70 and 18 range. Um, And he had half, only gold clowns, gold interceptor. Like if Winhoff quick for a step, with his like behind the back, um, if he ends up getting AD release on quick, like this is probably ends up, this guy probably ends up being the best power forward in the game. And then if he ends up getting half ball stripper, he probably becomes one of, if not the best centers in the game, because obviously Yao is Yao, but I mean, um, the, from, my, from my experience, the best way I've found with dealing with Yao is by zagging. Like if you match up a big guy to Yao, you're just half the time handicapping yourself. Like let him, let them zig. Let them zig using Yao Ming. You zag using Anthony Davis. You start dribbling the ball to the floor with Anthony Davis, pulling up behind the back, getting Yao caught in screens um, with AD as the primary ball handler. And then they, whatever, whoever the hell they put Yao on, it's just sudden, like Yao's just basically gonna have to guard a ball handler now, which would make things really, really interesting if suddenly all five players on the floor can run the pick and roll. And then Yao Ming just has to, uh, you have to pick your poison on who Yao Ming is going to guard. And I know X switching is a thing, but like you could run, you could run as a Chris move, you say to whoever offense on Yao Ming. But uh, yeah, so I think AD is going to be a really nice card. I think he's going to be one of the best. And I think this is going to be a really, really good batch of players. I think the three guys we've seen all have potential to be great. And um, I think AD probably the best of them all. But anyway, yeah, that is the video. Thank you guys for watching. Uh, 
please like, comment, and subscribe.